So we wanted to build a technology that is like make in India. We have built motors and controllers completely from first principles. Initially, there was some resistance. From fans to automobiles to washing machines, motors drive everything. And most motors need magnets to work. Most of the uh, modern uh, magnets which are used in motors need these rare earth elements called lanthanides and uh, actinides. The magnets made using these rare earth elements are three to four times more powerful. But dependency on rare earth materials has three key issues. One, many countries including India don't have it available domestically. Two, the overall cost of a motor goes up and three, extraction of rare earth elements from ores is an inefficient process that negatively impacts the environment. The percentage of these elements available in the given ore is very less. If you process one ton, you get through grams of material to be used in magnets. Large amount of magnets are required, huge numbers. It is not easy to cater to that type of need easily without creating problems for environment. Reluctant motors by Chara solve for this because they don't have any magnet. It contains simple iron and steel, which is available plenty in our country. Reluctance technologies, people were thinking from 1950s also. It was only at concept stage. It requires a lot of complex control algorithms. If you look at maybe like a decade ago or so, the processing power needed to execute this was not available. But in the past maybe one or two decades, there are very cheap microcontrollers with very high compute power, because of which we are able to control these motors quite easily. I used to work for Intel, mostly in the US. I have an embedded firmware background. Maha is a graduate of IIT Madras, one of the smartest guys I've ever seen in power electronics and algorithms. So I was working for a while in Intel and Harman. We found Ravi, who is also a very well respected in the motor field. Even today, we go to any meeting, everybody knows Ravi. Overall experience of 42 years, I am putting that energy into the product what I am building now. So at Chara, we have broadly three products we have built. The first one being a two-wheeler mid-mount motor, 6.5 kilowatts, 48 volts to 72 volts. The second motor is a 10.5 kilowatt motor, suitable for a three-wheeler. We also have a, our largest motor, a, a four-wheeler motor, liquid-cooled, 320 volt operation. It has been fully characterized, tested on our dynos and on vehicles. It doesn't contain magnets, it is cheaper, and the technology is available at the doorsteps of the customer. We are now working on collecting data from our motor and building analytics on top of it. And we can also provide predictive diagnostics. We are working on critical mineral independence. We believe that is important at a national strategic level. Initially, there was some resistance for acceptance. Slowly, people realized the importance of the job what we are doing. Sometime in the near future, when I'm driving down the road or walking down the road, I should be able to say that, look, our motor is uh, propelling that uh, vehicle.